what an amazing day and an amazing race we had out here in St. George, Utah at the 2021 Intermountain Healthcare Ironman World Championship presented by the Utah Sports Commission. We wanted a new beginning and we absolutely got it. And those athletes performed on one of the toughest courses they've ever set foot on. What an incredible journey. Triathlon fans all over the world watched as the postponed 2021 Ironman World Championship unfolded in St. George, Utah, the first time the event has taken place outside of Kailua, Kona. The 2021 Intermountain Healthcare Ironman World Championship presented by Utah Sports Commission brought professional athletes from all over the world together to compete on a course rivaling the toughness of Kona after two years of abbreviated racing. In the men's race, Sam Laidlaw led the pro men out of Chile San Hala Reservoir in 47.29 with Daniel Backegaard on his heels. The Kiwi pair Kyle Smith and Braden Curry were next with Florian and Garrett in fifth. Olympic gold medalist Christian Blumenfeld fell a surprising two minutes back on the swing. Onto the 112 mile bike course through the hilly territory of southwestern Utah, a lead pack established itself early on. That pack contained Laidlow, Smith, Backegaard, Angert, and Curry. Five minutes back of that lead group, Cameron Wirth led a chase back that saw Canadian Lionel Sanders move up through the field as well as Blumenfeld. On a picture-perfect day, featuring warm, dry conditions typical of the desert and a wind factor that never made a significant impact on the pro performances, Smith, Curry, and Angert were onto the run course in the top three. Curry took the lead at four miles as Blumenfeld, one of the day's biggest movers on the run, continued to move through the field behind him. By the halfway point on the marathon, the Olympic gold medalist who started the run with over four minutes deficit moved into second, entering a battle with Curry. At 19 miles, the Norwegian took the lead and never looked back. It was a breakthrough performance for Christchurch-born Curry, 2021 Ironman New Zealand champion, who held on to second until the bitter end and until he was passed by Sanders in the last few hundred meters. Blumenfeld won the race handily with his 749-16 finish, joining the rare collection of athletes who have a gold medal in triathlon and an Ironman World Championship win. For the young Norwegian in only his second Ironman race, it's something to truly be proud of. On the women's side, American Haley Chura was first out of the water with over two minutes on the rest of the field. Fanella Langridge and Lisa Norton were next in line with Daniela Reef leading a chase group four minutes back, containing Sky Monch, Jocelyn McCauley, and Ann Hawk. By the 40 mile point, Reef had confidently taken the lead, passing Norton and eventually Matthews. By the halfway point of the bike, the four time Ironman world champion made a characteristically bold move pushing to the front and continuing to make up time at the front to the tune of seven minutes ahead of her next closest chaser, Matthews, and 15 minutes on super runner and reigning Ironman world champ, Hobb. Over the 26.2 mile hilly marathon, Reef continued to run away from the rest of the field to the tune of a comeback race and the return of the angry bird. Crossed the finish line in 8.34.59, including a sub three hour marathon, with a display of joy and passion uncharacteristic of the level headed athlete. Reflash the number five to signify five Ironman World Championship victories, putting her in the esteemed company of only Paula Newby Frazier and Natasha Bob. After two and a half years with no world championship racing, I can't say how awesome it was to see all those athletes out there. I'm Matt Lieto. That's it for a fighting chance from St. George, Utah. We'll see you in Kona.